What's happening guys? Today we're gonna have an awesome, awesome, awesome vlog because we get to go see Avi. We're gonna see so many other people, some good surprises. But most importantly, we're gonna do something that we should all do more. And that is always wonder when someone tells you something, if it's true or not. We know that the new Jeep truck hawk or trail hawk or whatever it's called, which is like the Hellcat competitor of Jeep, like the truck with 700 and something horsepower. We were reading yesterday about it. And we were like, oh man, I'm so curious about it. And then a friend of ours hit us up and said, dude, I got one. You guys wanna drive it? And we're like, yeah. He goes, but uh, if you don't have over 500 miles on the car, you're not gonna get over 500 horsepower. And if you have over that, then you're gonna get the full 700. And I wanna call that bullshit. I wanna go see what the deal with that truck is and if it's real or not. Yeah, you can do a Google search, but how many people do you really know that have the car that can give us some inside information? So I'm gonna take the M3 to Avi. We're gonna deal with the letter three. Bargini's already in my golf truck and I'll see you guys there. All right, Bova, I don't even have any gas whatsoever left in the car, which is good. That means Avi can go in one of his epic runs in the car. I love driving these cars, these older cars, because they do bring up all these memories for when I used to have this car and I used to go fuck around in it. It just put a big smile on my face and also I was able to play like new songs with it and mesh those memories. In a weird way, it's like good therapy. I'm just very happy that I get to do this every single day and I I don't take it for granted. So that's all. Uh, we're about to get to Avi's right now. I'm oh, 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 before we get to Avi's, I forgot to say thank you to everyone. If any one of you guys in the English channel is subscribed to Salomundo, we hit a million subscribers on Salomundo in only three and a half months. That is by far the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. I never knew that that could be possible in such a short amount of time. I do think in Salomundo, I can get to 10 million subscribers. I know it sounds cocky, but I feel like that's possible. I mean, it took me three years to get Salamandra into a million. It took me three and a half months. So I think this has a future and I'm very excited about it. And this is something like a big lesson for all of us guys. Don't take anything for granted. Don't go and hide when someone tells you to try something. Go do it. Go give it a shot because I've always got, why don't you make these videos in Spanish? And I thought it was the dumbest thing ever and no one was gonna watch it. Here we are. So listen to people when they tell you you should do something that you're good at over and over again. Like if someone telling you, hey, you make amazing delicious brownies, you should sell them. Maybe you should and look into it. It doesn't cost that much to try it. Just saying. And we're here at Abby, so mission accomplished. Ooh, that's his ML. He got a Rentec ML or a Weistec ML. Like, it's crazy. Avi's living the dream, by the way. He gets to do what he loves the most and he profits from it. That is true fucking brilliance and happiness. Hey! Avi, I love you for this more than anything. It's so clean. Hey, yeah. That looks great. I'm gonna get you more hats and shit, Avi. I gotta, I gotta hook you up. How are you? Good, fantastic. I saw you got that at auction, dude. Yeah. What's the story with that? What's that? Can you please explain us the... I'm enjoying the shit out of it, dude. Yeah? I have a couple of things to do, very minor. Mm -hmm. Both mounts and the training mount. Nice. There's so much torque in this car, it just rips it. I so, understand it. So what is this? This is an ML63 and then modded to what? The Rentec touched the ECU. Okay. I'm trying to get in contact with somebody to tell me what exactly and what stage, because they have packages at Rentec. Rentec, can you guys hook it up, please? Anyone that's at Rentec, if you can email us so we can put I you in touch with Avi so you can hook him up. Got the badging? Yeah, I see it. You know, I'm driving this against the NSX and I'm thinking to myself, I can't believe an SUV could give you so much joy. Oh, yeah. And this one gives you, you know, AMG, anything Mercedes. They, yeah. they're doing do you know, it right. Do you know what we're going to go pick up today? What? The Grand Cherokee Trail Hawk. The Trail Hawk, Trail Track Hawk, 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 the 700 horsepower one. So it's kind of like this, but 700 horsepower. Yeah. And a Jeep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've oh, got another M3 guy. You know how expensive this shit is? All the way up from here, that's Canada. Yeah, it's all, it's all one piece. Oh, it's all of that cover. Oh. Wow, the only dude that paid the big bucks for the, the real Canon. Yeah, he, <laughs> he did this. But if I make a list of what I replaced until now, it'll be about five minute talk. Really? Front rear shocks, uh -huh. front rear mounts, front control arms bushings, front sway bars, all the power steering hoses, Ooh. complete oil change. I still have to do the vanos. I'm not worried about that. I'm leaving that to the last. The whole rear trailing arms, differential, housing uh, bolts Jesus. were cracked. That was um, a part of the recall, right? Fuck or the no? recall, I did it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm reshooting the whole. Oh, the brakes. Yeah, everything. Sway bar links. Sweet wheels, shocks. though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love those. Those are I mean, epic wheels. Are decent, I mean, you were saying the guy oh, put yeah. a lot of the money. Oh yeah, here already. Put a lot of money in carbon fiber, right? Oh, you on see the, the lip right on the front. That yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, huge lip right stuff. here. You see? Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's stupid, but I like it. <laughs> uh, I 
I have the original lid. Yeah. But you know what? It's already carbon fiber. You so might as well just I do it. Yeah, fiber. of course. Real carbon fiber diffuser. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's shown the, the stereo. He put a big boy sound system yeah. in this thing? Yes, now. Touch screen. Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is so well installed. You guys see that? I kind of want that for mine. That looks epic. Well, I'm, I'm actually giving away mine to one of you guys, so never mind that. Wait, 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 maybe we could trade. Can we trade? Hang on. No, no, no. <laughs> maybe I can buy this one for myself and put it in the rental business at Galpin. Ah! This one? Yeah. Awesome, dude. What, what would you think? Awesome. Look, this car, it's going to be bulletproof. Of Whoever's course. Whoever's going to take it, none of you have to worry about how's the brakes or how's the suspension. It's all new. The good. The carriage of the car from the back to the front of the car. Brand new. Every Pushing amount is brand new. If it costs me in parts, let's say fifteen hundred bucks, the outside shop we're looking at four or five thousand dollars. Yeah, of course. Man, that's yeah, sauce, that's right? the value that yeah, that, that Avi brings to the table. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So this, this, this Fosgate P2, which I, it's a very nice album for actually. Uh huh. Does that fit in the Raptor? Yeah. With, oh, oh, great. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. I th yeah. Didn't <laughs> Rublo didn't put that on yours? Even my, Rublo, I'm gonna get you. Even my F150 <laughs> has a sound system. And this one, she has the the black piano wood. I love black piano. I know. It's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite too. Look at these fresh tires. There's Michelin tires. Ooh. Oh, wait, also another thing. Obviously, the only dude that puts in the proper tires. Tires yeah, to the cars. Tires, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll I get you a deal with that. Pirelli. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I actually don't know anyone at Pirelli. So. Or any tire. Or any tire. Or, or any gas. Yeah. Any, anyone, anyone. Anyone. Anyone wants to help us out. <laughs> Anything. You know what? Tires, though, you don't need help anymore. No, of course not. It's done. You, you know, go to, you what's go to, that website? That yeah, Tire Rack or yeah. those Tire companies. Rack. And yeah. you can tell if the shop's fucking you over with that. Those yeah, yeah, yeah. Prices it's two rack. minutes. Yeah. Well, two minutes, you go online. If you go to a tire shop and they shove you $200 tire and the Tire Rack sells it for 80 bucks, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. on you. Go to TireRack.com whenever you go to a shop and see what they're charging you and see what Tire Rack is and then you'll know how much they're fucking you and everything else too. Entirerack.com, maybe you give us some money for that plug. <laughs> I mean, can, can we go rip that before we rip the track hawk and see how yeah, that is? Yeah, but it's warm. It's nice and warm? Yeah, yeah I want to get up. I knew you guys are gonna come. This is the best comparison by accident in the world. Absolutely, and also, this is oh. a fully spec one. So back in the day, these MLs, these were the mom cars that Mercedes didn't really sell that well. Once the GLE Coupe came out, because the GLE, the regular one, is the new ML, if you will, which is this car. The GLE Coupe brought that sex appeal back to the SUV market, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is the mom car that's epic. I always wanted one of these, but I couldn't and never convinced Belen to buy one of these. And, and I'd like to add, this started the trend of the SUV with the big engine and it's Correct, super. correct. So now we're gonna go drive the latest purest form of that in American version, and this is the German version of that muscle. But I don't think this will have that much kick wait, compared wait, to that. Wait, hold on, hold on. But Alejandro, it, it could. How many horsepower is wait, this? Wait, wait, but it could because of the Rentec, right? Wait, we should ask, <laughs> hold on, we should ask. Avi, how many horsepower would you this guess? This is 550. Okay. Ooh. This does not feel like 550. No, okay. you, you need, sport, you put in sport already? Yeah, I, I love you, I love you. You okay. instantly gave what me you, that. Wait, if you had to guess a number, what would you put in the horsepower? I'll say 600 at least. Okay, let's give it a So that, give it That's a actually a good, it could be a good comparison. We'll okay. be right Look, back. it's a lighter car. Don't forget that. Oh. There we go. All right, here we go. Poison. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh yeah, this holy oh. shit. Oh. Oh my God. Hang on. Yes. It's supercharged. Mm, no, 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 I think. Oh yeah, you know what? It did. That's a. That's a whiner, dude. It sounds like a modern AMG too with the pop pops, right? And it would have shifted. Yup, yup, yup. Is he supercharged? Yes, I, I think, think he's so. Supercharged. Yes. It could be an, of the it, the year that they didn't switch over yet to the twin turbos. I don't think oh, so. Oh, you think they? You think they? Like... I think they supercharged this one. <laughs> wow. I think this is an NA that they supercharged, but I'm not sure. We gotta. Oh, I see. What you, I got you saying like the naturally aspirated the V8, and then they. Okay, okay, got it. Got it. I Avi, so. Avi will. Avi this is will, really no. fast though. Yeah, and, and Avi was just saying. I don't know if you got it on camera, but he's like considering this over his like yeah, NSX like no, in the no, daily no. because it's fun. Yeah, yeah. This is a proper like. Proper, proper high performance AMG big boy like vehicle. Oh my. Why? How? <laughs> this feels just like the GLE Coupe, the 63, but like with more hump. It, it kind of makes sense, right? Because it's Rentec. Yeah, but. <laughs> wow. This is fucking insane. Oh. Ooh. And the all-wheel drive. There's no noodly noodles. Hey, he ain't gonna sell this. Yeah, he's gonna keep this he's for sure, right? This. this is a, this is a fucking fun. Damn. 
traction control comes on like, no, 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 but it still lets you. Wow, okay, so we know what this felt like. I'm excited to see what the track car can do. <laughs> hey, you better impress. I mean, is this supercharged? No, it's one turbo. Uh, we hear a whine, like a- Are you sure? Yeah. Whining like a supercharger. Like no, you're right. What is that, why- same engine in your Jeep. Damn. It feels so intense, dude, on the punch. I know. Avi, we think you're gonna keep this one. We think, yeah. No, no. This is, <laughs> He's like, no, 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 I'm keeping I like it. Sex. I have so many toys. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for a car while it's being turned into the Senna tribute? You wanna drive the M3? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Can we watch it? Should we watch it? We're the... right here at the badging stages. That is an actual M3 logo. There we go. Yep. Like, yep. Yeah. Thank and you, sir. Avi, don't take parts from this to put in that one. That one's <laughs> big. That's the best part. What, what a price range is that going to be in? I think it's unbelievable. 13. Well, let's go tomorrow to Galpin either way to talk to him, see if we can do the rental thing. Okay. Because if we can, let's buy it. Yeah, what rental? We're going to be uh, renting cars out of Galpin, like Galpin a car a, rental company. Galpin has a rental car division. so Which we had no fucking yeah, idea had, about. What, and what kind of cars are you planning well, for renting? Well, yeah, we were yeah. saying we went and drove the Stinger, for example, the Kia Stinger. Kia Stinger. Wow. Have you, wow. Driven, have you driven that car? My friend in the auction has one. Let me just take it around the block. Right? How amazing right? is the Kia Stinger? Right. You know what, Kia has always been surprising. But that car is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah that's for the why. Money, that's for the why. money, why would I get a Mercedes? That's that's what you we were saying. You have a rocket launcher. Yep, yep, yep. It's a, it's a, you know. And it's so cheap. That's Andre, what, like wants one of those, but they can't buy one because he can't put that, whatever. So we're thinking like he'll buy these cars and we'll just put it in the rental Galpin fleet for fleet. Galpin. And you, just well, it, it'll be ours. Yeah. It'll be my rental fleet, our rental fleet, except Galpin will be hooking up with insurance. Running the back end of it. You, you know, it used to be a company called Legends. They had all these weird cars. Yeah. And this is exactly what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like Pontiac Fiero, for example. Uh, we're not, we won't do Pontiac no, no, no. Fiero, but we'll do... <laughs> you know what? If I could find a Pontiac Fiero GT, I would buy it and keep it. Pontiac Fiero GT. Want to see something really exciting? <laughs> Yeah, I know. These were hello and, cars. And, and on TV, people have been talking about the Fiero, Fiero for a yeah, while. Yeah, 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 like that yellow car in the commercial yeah. with the monk. You should really let go of your last earthly possession. Yeah. You know how much they paid him to that person with no. that car? Probably like six, seven hundred dollars a day. For, for that, that day, car. Wow. That, okay. that hour. And boom! And from the Avi experience, we're gonna go straight into the Beverly Hills experience. Right now, we just came to Black and White Rent the Car. Our friend Sam, I, we met Sam and Dan, are the owners of Black and White Rent the Car, during Gold Rush like three years ago. And they're the funniest fucking couple of guys ever. They're not a couple, just a couple of guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Sammy's the one who called us and said, every time Sam gets a cool car, he'll email us and say, bro, what do you think of this? Even though he already bought it, by the way, yeah. which, fine. The Tomahawk or the Trackhawk. Tra Trailhawk. The Jeep one. The Jeep is the, the, with, the one the that he called about. Yeah, because it has the Hellcat, Hellcat engine. engine. Yeah. So we want to see if what he's saying is true because he told us that if you don't put over 500 miles on the car, the car doesn't allow you to get 700 horsepower you on five it. Horse, you, five you only get 500, horse. but once you have 1,000 miles, is it? Or over 500 you, miles. Once you, once you break it in after 500 miles, it opens up the power and you can do launch controls. So there you go. So, oh, and we cannot do launch controls right now. Yeah, that's what he says. I said, Sam, where are you getting this information? He goes, oh, the salesperson told me. But here's the thing, I, I did get a message from a salesperson. Okay. Who's saying all this stuff is true. How can a car company limit the power of a car based on how many miles the car has? It has to be an electric component in the motor that goes like, once you get to a certain mile. Yeah, like, yeah. So we're gonna see if this is true. And, and Sam was kind enough to loan us a car and I think I think I'm gonna go uh, and take advantage of this situation right now and take it to Mercedes-Benz of Beverly Hills so I can fix my credit because they <laughs> fucked it up and they never fixed it. And we and we got to drive that ML63. That's gonna be a great comparison right We're now. A Rentec, a Rentec. A model. Rentec, which Avi thinks it has 600 horsepower. I do agree with Avi. I think it yeah, does yeah. sound like a 650 horsepower yeah. car. Yeah. So let's see. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen this. If you follow cars for a while, this is my boy's business. Black and white rent the car. They're everywhere. By the way, Sam told me the number of cars they have. I don't, I'm not gonna say it. I can't believe it. I know. I can't. Well, can you tell just by being here? Is that the one? Ooh. Oh, the Trag Hawk. 
Whoa, he's got quad exhaust. Look at this. Oh, this looks so badass. Oh. Wow. I think, I think we're in for a treat. We're looking to rent a Trailhawk with over 500 miles. Do you have? Do you have a, a Trailhawk with over 500 miles? No. Can't do launch control. <laughs> did you try? I did. Can't do it. By the way, he did it. We get to do it too. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Wait, wait hold on, hold on. Did he oh. give you the the big boy key? Hang on. Yeah, the 700 horsepower one. Oh, ho ho hopefully. And I just realized we have my truck here. We're taking both, right? So you'll take the trail. Tra what, what, okay. Hold on, what the fuck is it called? The trailblazer. Tra oh, no, no. <laughs> it's the, hang on. Hang on. It's the track hawk. Track hawk. Okay. Track, track hawk. Okay. Should we just go straight home? Before no. we get we gotta go to Mercedes of Beverly Hills. Oh quick. shit. Okay. What about my credit? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I legitimately just sat inside of this truck and holy shit. That interior is delicious. When did these cars get like this? I keep telling this to everyone and it get, it's getting really repetitive and annoying, but it's true. All of these cars are getting epic by the day. It's fucking insane. This is like the build quality of a Mercedes. You gotta look Whoa. at this. Whoa! It sounds mean outside, Alejandro, mean. It's insane. Jeez, okay. Let's, Let's go. go. I am so happy my Challenger is coming, by the way. Just listen to the... <sighs> this is the Hellcat, the AMG, if you will, the M-Power version of a Jeep Cherokee right now. And it's called the Trackhawk. It has 707 horsepower in a V8 supercharged motor, insane power delivery. It's supposed to be the fastest truck on Earth right now. That's what they say. Okay, also, as we were saying before, we were arguing because a technician told Dan and Sam that this car doesn't have 700 horsepower unless you get it to 500 miles. And as you guys can tell, we're at 309 miles, but the reality is this already feels 700 horsepower. Especially after driving Avi's truck, the ML that has 600 and something horsepower, I can tell you 100%, this thing 100% makes all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find the settings here in the car and see if I can show you on screen, but, we just went around the block and it's... I adore nonsense cars. I adore them. Before walking into Mercedes of Beverly Hills, what I want to do is just have Farsha park the car back here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And just have him right with me because this is unreal. But you know what? Just let Fargini's face tell you because it's crazy. Hey, make yourself at home because you don't understand. And you don't understand what this sounds like from the outside. You have to hear this from the outside. Nope. You just have to be sitting inside of this thing. Jack, want to hold the camera? No, no, no. We'll start. Okay. Uh, nice and easy. Hang on a second. There's, there's many cars coming. So we go easy. Oh my god! Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> it's that's fucking oh, horrible. Are you ready for this? That might be, other than the 918, this might be the strongest the, pull. Yeah. I just think it feels like that because of how big it is. Oh my God. There's the old lady crossing the street that's gonna be like, what are you doing? I cannot believe this car. Yes. So it's a Hellcat with all wheel drive. Yes, it, it doesn't dance, which is the one thing I miss about the Hellcat, but wow, it does do a lot of things. <laughs> oh my God, Alejandro. Wait, do you agree that this has the 700 horsepower already? 100%. Yeah. I, the, yeah. The, the, oh, oh yeah, should, I, should we, yes, uh, let's, we pull over? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. find it right now. Okay. So what we're gonna try to get is the performance page to load right now so we can see how much horsepower we're pulling on each acceleration because again, we're only in 311 miles. Okay, look, there it is, right there. There is a horsepower. Okay, so Hold this for me. All right, very simple. It's hold rather on, simple, hold on, hold on. like you said. Okay, here we go. We, we, we just over, I just saw 600 flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, 68. <laughs> so, do you, we are 100% confirmed, you do get the, the 700 horsepower under 500 miles. The, the one thing you cannot do is the launch. But let's do for our own, let's do for our, for own, our own eyes. Oh, oh we, we, we had it in auto, not even in sport. Let's do track. Do you agree? And then launch. 
and it says launch control unavailable. Oh! Right launch control unavailable, new vehicle. So we can't do launch control, but can we do this? Because Ivan wants these for the shots. Yeah. I want to do a, I want to record you doing a couple pulls. A couple so we, passes? Yeah, so we can, okay. we could, uh, yeah, exactly, a couple passes. So just get out here okay. and film the car as it comes and go <laughs> sideways. Okay. So for those of you guys who want to do passes, I know a lot of people don't follow the car. I'm a big fan of following Okay, so you're going to get you and then follow you. I'm just gonna stand behind you and you just go. And let's go. <laughs> just, we've reached the limit, limits of, uh... okay, and now we can casually, do you feel a difference in sport? No, hang on, of course. It's actually more twitchy and nervous and it lets you spin the wheels more even what? though it doesn't do that. It's kind of weird. How crazy is this okay. thing? Before we return it. No, 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 we're not gonna return it. Didn't Sam say take it? Oh yeah, he did say take it. He was like, please put the 500 miles so that we can see if he does the launch control. <laughs> so are we gonna terrorize the, just terrorize the streets of LA, putting the miles on this? I, I, I love this so. assignment. Thank you, Sam, for this assignment. I know. So, Andre, a question for you, sir. Yeah. You have a Hellcat on the way. Correct? It's actually gonna get here Friday or Monday. Right? Yeah. Would you consider this instead of that? No, even though it's fucking insane what he does, yeah. I want the Hellcat for a specific reason. The okay. truck won't, won't allow me to do. So once I'm done with the Hellcat and you see what I'm doing to it, you're gonna say, oh, that's why it had to be the car instead of a truck. Got it. Which okay. I haven't even told you or anyone. Okay, all what right. I'm planning on doing. Okay, it. yeah, you have not You have not told me. I do not know, I just know you're getting it this Friday. That's right, so hopefully. And we're gonna, and we're gonna melt the tires this weekend. Yes, oh, well, no, no, no. If I get it Friday, yeah, if I get it Monday, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. But if not, we at least got these tires right yeah. here. <laughs> okay, we're here at Mercedes of Beverly Hills, but what we're gonna see is not really cars. I'm gonna walk in there trying to fix, not trying to fix, I'm just gonna remind them to fix my credit. All right, well, that was easy. Can you can you buy stuff now on oh, credit? Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> because all that was was the reminder. They're like, okay. oh yes, we'll do it. We'll do pop-ins to make sure that my credit score is right. Because also, I, I'm thinking we might have to buy a warehouse now for all of our shit, which, it's good that you know you're growing, 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 but at what time, at what point do you stop spending and expanding? It's right. fucking exhausting. Yeah. So do you have an answer? No. 